High tech against poverty. Why sustainable aid should not do without using modern technologies. A test in India's rural areas showed thirty-eight percent of fourth year pupils could read a text. The text was aimed at second year pupils. Yeah, my name is Danam and uh, I am working as IT head for AMG India International. And we are now in AMG Residential High School Computer Lab. People occupying houses in rural areas have about to six square meter space to live in. According to official estimates, only two thirds of the houses in India are in good condition. About 1,000 children in India die every day because they have no clean drinking water. Now we are using end computing technology in all our AMG schools. But in this end computing technology, only one CPU is uh, performing for up to 30 monitors. This reduces CPU costs, AC costs and uh, IT administration uh, time. Extract from the UNESCO Global Education Digest 2011. Education policy, which is aimed at improving the entire education system, will probably not be successful without reducing social disadvantages. Education provided by Wort and Tat is sustainable and good. Our pupils come from India's lower social levels. Children who yesterday were still working in the stone quarry or lime kiln, or young people who come from straw-covered slum huts, are receiving a good education to enable them to escape poverty. In order to achieve this, pupils need access to PCs also in India. Hence, we provide circa 14,000 pupils at our schools also with good technical equipment. Thank you for your support. God loves the people. We tell them about it in word and in deed.